If k is greater than negative 26 and less than 24, and we know k is an integer, that means that at its lowest, k would be negative 25, and at its highest, it would be positive 23. Now they're suggesting that we add all of these possible values of k all together, but a lot of them are gonna cancel out. I mean, if we have positive integers all the way up to 23, and we also have the matching negative integers all the way down to negative 23, these are equidistant from zero, right? We can, we can pair them up such that they cancel out. Negative one would cancel with one, negative two would cancel with two, negative three would cancel with three, all the way to negative 23 with positive 23. When the dust settles on all of that, we still have negative 24 and negative 25, which together would be negative 49. So that means that the correct answer here is D. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.